Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. All right, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a nice, clean fight. All right, touch gloves. Let's fight. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. When we get matchups like this, guys that just won't quit, they'll be there every step of the way like Gaddy Ward. Sometimes there comes a point where one fighter thinks he's got himself an advantage. He's done something great. But then the other fighter doesn't go away. How does that play out in the minds of each fighter? Usually it doesn't affect the kind of guys you just mentioned, Gaddy or Ward. They may not have to cement these guys. They're already set in their ways. They know what they have to do. They're not going to get thrown off just because somebody's still there. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. And his eye is starting to swell. Uppercut. Blocks the headshot. And a well-placed counter by Peters. Hard to believe that they can keep up this pace, but who cares? It's so entertaining while it lasts. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Halfway through round number one. Good looking counter punch. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants, they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. Fine work right there by Bad Intentions. Not an accurate hook at all. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. There it is! Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. We come to the end of the round, and he really got to his opponent that time, Teddy. He stunned him. Uh, he stunned him. He's hearing a little tweeting going on, a little singing from the birds in his head. Well off the mark by Peters. up along the belt line blocks that one the tactical game paying off you can see the counter punch yeah you see the counter punch but you know what i see i see a little tentativeness now 
in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Bad Intentions is coming up big here early on in the fight because he just showed his opponent, hey, listen, you got to be careful. I can counterpunch you. No better way to slow down your opponent. You know, we know the other way you slow him down. You hit him right on the chin and you make him say, hey, I don't want to walk in. Holy cow. Peters is stunned and he is hurt. Punch it out. Punch it out. Two-punch combo by Peters. All right, come on now. Come on, work it out. Work it out. See some punches here. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back underneath him. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. done that time landing the counter punch teddy i think he really concentrated a lot during camp i'm working on the jab i mean just just look at the punch stats here tonight just look at what he's been able to do well i'm sure he has and as you said it's shown and you know when i'm in the corner when i'm training a fighter in training camp you just touched on it you know what i do joe what's that i make sure that when i'm putting the gloves on my fighter i put the left hand on first that's to remind them, this is the boss. This is the stick. This is what's going to bring you to victory. This is what you're going to use 80% of the time tonight. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Peters. Last 10 seconds. So here we are at the end of the round, and this is the only chance these guys get to not throw at each other. Yeah, this is a break. You know, a lot of times fighters find their own way to take a break during the fight, during the round. These guys really need this minute rest. Nice block by bad intentions. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Peters is not showing us that he understands just how effective he can be if he went downstairs. Yeah, well, you know what you're saying, Joe? You're taking a peek and you're taking a swipe without meaning at his trainers. Because what he's telling you is he hasn't been taught some of the rudiments of boxing. That when you hurt a guy, you should go downstairs to finish him. to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by bad intentions. What a chin. Can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? And more importantly, can his opponent believe it? You know what? You want to hit a guy. So you figure that that's a good thing, that's an encouraging thing. This is a case where his opponent might get discouraged just by seeing his guy take those kind of shots. Mark the counter punch by Peters. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. He is very much being tested here, even though he's likely up on the scorecards. He's getting a real test here. Yeah, Joe, a test that will serve him in the future. If he goes on to win this fight, which I think he will, he's going to take what he learned here today, what he gained here today, and it's going to serve him as he moves forward in his career. And a sharp counterpunch by bad intentions. rid of that it was intended for his head <laughs> not able to land the headshot <laughs> <Come on. laughs> 
Very nice defensive guard there. Excellent counter punch by Peters. Here we go with the fourth round. Bad intentions, his eye to me, is getting worse as things continue on here. Teddy, he's got to be very conscious of that, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, and his corner has to be, too. They got to be thinking about if it gets to the point where he can't defend himself, they have to do something. Obviously, they didn't come here thinking they were going to have to do. Stop this fight. Good block there by Peter. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Way through round number four. And a good counter by bad intentions. Teddy, you talk about going out and making a few opening statements here. The jab has spoken loudly for him. Yeah, it has spoken loudly. What it's told his opponent is you're not just going to walk in. You're not coming into my house. It's going to be hard. I got a couple locks, a couple padlocks on you. Defensive skill with the block by bad intentions. Well placed counter punch by Peter. Job protecting himself. Here we are at the start of another round. A round that could simply add on to a new direction and a new course that this fight has taken. I really like what he was able to do in that last round. Now he's behind on the scorecards. But you get the sense that the momentum is starting to roll his way. Well, you get the sense that it's starting to become his kind of fight now. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Counter punch by Peters. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you're forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. And our first glimpse of blood from his nose.
Wow, look at that. Trading shots. And another right hand comes in. Gets rid of that body shot. And another one lands. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. A hook for you, and a hook right back. And a smart counterpunch by bad attention. Just well-timed, well-placed punches time and time again right now. Very accurate. Yeah, very accurate, Joe. He's really placing his punches. He's thinking it out. He's seeing the picture, and he knows exactly where he wants to put them. And a sharp counterpunch by bad intentions. Oh, and they decide to trade there. The start of the sixth round. Well off the mark by Peter. Bad Intentions is doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. Bad Intentions is doing exactly what we expected him to do. He laid out the game plan. I want to win it on the outside. The jab's been there all night. Yeah, well, that's where it starts if you want to win it on the outside. You know, you're not going to do it with your feet. This is not kickboxing. You know, you're going to do it with your jab. And that's exactly, it's boxing 101. Control range, control distance, control the jab. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Able to dismiss it. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Peters is showing that he doesn't have any head movement defensively whatsoever. What else is there, Ted? Well, there's legs. Start using your legs a little bit. Get out of range. One way or the other, get out of the other man's talking place. That was not well targeted by Peters. <laughs> Unable to score with the uppercut that time. by Peters. <laughs> Showing you some defense there with the blocks. Making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences.
gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Other, the exchange was something special. Good block by the Cobra. Able to dismiss that body shot. to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. Bad intentions. He's got a real problem and he knows it because that eye is worsening and if it seals all the way shut, if it's swollen that badly, we can see a stoppage in this fight. Yes, we can. And right now what should be seen is the corner of his opponent should see that advantage. And a fighter needs to see that advantage and be told that and move to the right place. Move to the side and throw the kind of punches that can take advantage of that eye being closed. Solid counter punch by Peter. Of this round that last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction he did well yeah you know the old time saying was uh bad start good finish well that's what he's hoping for good finish blocks that belt line well good defensive skill Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Bad intentions is doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. There it is! He is damaged badly there. Right, he may on, hit the on, floor. Work it out, work it Peters out. is showing punches, some real yeah. guts here. Hey, this fight was not going his way at all, but somehow he has gathered momentum. Yeah, he behaved like a fighter. He got through the tough times, and now guess what? Good times in front of him. Turn fire that time. His eye is cut. What a good counter punch by bad intentions.
Bunch after a fine defensive effort by Peters. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Wow! Peters is down. First man to go down so far tonight. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Blocked there by bad intentions. <laughs> and a well placed counter by bad intentions. It is hard to believe that there's still half a round to go. What a show they've already put on in this round. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. and turns and the non-stop battle it continues on as we've reached the one minute mark to go wow is he defensively sound solid counter punch by peter through the straight right hand and for the second time tonight he goes down some way he's going to continue on here and if he's going to stay in this fight now he's going to avoid this opponent like the black plague frustrating his opponent with great defense All wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock to survive. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Peters. Peters is just not impressing anybody here. He went down earlier, and since then, 
this fight hasn't been on a level playing ground. Well, you've heard me say it many times that boxing is 75% mental, and right now the mental part is keeping him out of this fight because he can't let go of what happened earlier. He must let go and get back to offense. There on the punch by Peters. Peters is losing badly. I mean, do you see it any other way, Teddy? He's losing this fight. Yeah, he is, and he's got to turn it around. And I think it's too late, and I hate to say this as a trainer, but to start doing all the fundamental things that usually you bring to a fight, it's too late for that. He needs to find a way to land a big shot. That's typically not the message you hand out. No, it's not, because the more you look for a big shot, the more you don't find him, you leave yourself wide open. But he's gotten himself painted into that corner right now. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Fires right back at him. to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Oh, good exchange there. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Bad intentions is in a real tough spot now. There's no doubt about it that the eye has worsened. That cut is really looking ugly right here. What does he have to think about right now? Is it time to just take the realization that, hey, this fight could end at any moment? Yeah, well, there's two things to that. First of all, the cut man's done his job. He's put the coagulants in there. Now he has to give them time to work. He's got to be elusive. He can't get hit on it for a little while. But also, he has to find a way for offense to stem the tide to keep the opponent from just walking right in. his opponent and just as we anticipated toe to toe right from the start no introductions necessary up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot able to dismiss that body shot Blocked there by bad intentions. Blocks away that headshot. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. to get away from that headshot with the block. It's been two minutes of non-stop action. Now the final minute has arrived. And a smart counterpunch by Peters.
Listen, he's still being highly competitive, even though you would have to think, if you're judging this fight at all, that he's way behind. Does that give him hope that still there's a chance that he can score the knockout and get this win? Yeah, because his attitude is still there. He hasn't given up on himself. And as long as you haven't given up on yourself, you always have a chance where one punch can separate that guy from his consciousness. right back at him able to show you his blocking ability and this is the final round 12 rounds going at you and this is the final round, round number 12 coming at you. damage but he's doing a real nice job of just staying away from the danger and now he's got to find a little bit of a way to create offense without getting into that danger zone again good way to protect the midsection wow just sit back and enjoy this one you can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. So he's frustrating his opponent here. He's hurt, he's damaged, and he's got him just chasing him around the ring. And maybe he might get an opportunity, believe it or not, as hurt as he's been, to maybe catch his opponent getting a little reckless walking in. to go in this round. No doubt about it, he's hurt. He could go down, but he's doing the right thing here. Just getting the heck away. Yeah, he's staying away right now. Oh, and there you go. Peters is in a bad place right Come now. now. He was tagged. He was stunned and staggered moments ago. Now he's right back in the fight looking pretty good. Yeah, some guys take a little longer to recover. One of his strains is he recovers real fast. Gets rid of that body shot. All the rounds in the books for the official decision. Let's send it up to the ring. Tonight, the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner, Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions is your winner by unanimous decision. All three judges giving it to him. I didn't agree with the judges completely, but... They got the right guy winning. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We'll see you next time ringside.